Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. I do hope you fantastic subscribers and viewers are well. Today we are checking out Rusty Ship Golf Island. Now this is a course that I came across via um, a thread on the TGC forums which I've just recently joined and it was started by subscriber um, less than bread and I think it's a fantastic thread it's like a thread where he comes across courses that he thinks are really really good that have not had lots of plays or exposure that they should have now I've been doing that for years on the channel so it's nothing new to me but it's great to check out other courses people are recommending so if you want to go and have a look at that it is on the TGC forums and he has recommended a rusty ship golf island by um, pretty green one is the designer so really looking forward to this it's currently got like 15 plays let's see if we can help the designer get a bit of exposure and get his play count up to maybe a hundred i think that's a fair enough shout so as we see here fairways are soft greens are soft green speeds medium fast it's very rare that i've played a course with soft greens and soft fairways i can't recall the last time i actually played a course with soft greens so looking forward to that everything else is going to be set to default we do have two tee options we are going to be playing off the black tees which are 7,069 yards fairly short course let's begin round so looking forward to checking what this one out like i say i think it's a fantastic forum a, a, a fantastic thread started in the tgc tours forums which i was unaware of but hole one is a par three playing 191 yard stroke index 11. looks like we're right on the beach front here plenty of hazards here on the green very mild wind conditions got the club down to the six iron that wind will hardly move us just going to deal off this a couple of touches just try to land this looks like it's an uphill green see if we can get this landing on the green and working its way up towards the pin this shouldn't sit down too quickly for us oh it's a laser beam of an open and swing long may that continue this should run out well for me there we go is it going to sit why wow, i'm amazed we got that amount and run out for the greens being soft but we are going to have probably about a seven to eight foot putt for an open and birdie green speeds are one six four there is a bit of movement in this one just going to go right edge of the cup here play this at a night wait night's weight where it should turn there we go and we do start off with a birdie great start to the round then really like the the okay, first hole there though Let's see what you can do here. so hole two is a long par four playing 504 yards stroke index five certainly got a length feel to this huge bunker there to the right but there is so many designers out there who do spend 50 to 100 100 plus hours and uh, their courses get very little plays and probably get sickened because their course doesn't get an exposure but that's why this channel's here. I am here to help everyone in the community. Looks like we've got a severe uphill fairway here. Lots of slopes. Certainly got a links field to this. Right on the beach. Oh, I pushed that way right. This one looks pretty safe. Depending on the kick we get here, we could be in a light rough. It looks like it's going to kick. Oh, I thought it was going to kick right. It's actually kicked the opposite way. So we went from a laser beam to that. Like it's going to leave us with a five iron. iron. I'm yeah, probably going to have to play the five iron here because if I club down to the six, that bunker is definitely in play. We are on an uphill slope here. Don't want to be landing that too far right of the flag. Just going to loft that up one touch and hope we've got enough club to come over the top of this bunker. It's a better strike should have enough club here should be landing this on the fringe it should kick out tell you what this could be a fantastic approach shot and that is another great approach shot into the green but for soft greens ball's not sitting down quickly yet All right, here we go. to be fair we have been firing low irons into the first two holes greens are tricky We've got a seven footer here this is going to break quite aggressive once again giving it plenty of respect and this should start to turn it does and we do pick up back-to-back -back birdies here 
a move to two under for the two holes. So, hole number three is a par four, playing 439 yards, stroke index seven. Really nice looking course this so far. Really, really like the, the layout. The sculpting looks like it's been done well from the first few holes. Plenty of hazards. I, I love the way the bunkers are set out. You are going to get punished here for poor shots. Just going to set this down. Left hand side of the fairway. Push that slightly right. Probably going to end up to the, the right hand side of the fairway here with a kick. There we go. But we should have, for the first time, a wedge into the green. So let's see how receptive these greens really are when they're playing soft. I'm just going to deal off that one touch. It is playing 111 yards. It looks like if we're short, we're going to have the, the easier putt. Should be decent. Should be right at the flag stick. Ooh, it's heading for the green here. Yeah, that did sit down a lot quicker, and that should be a simple putt for birdie yeah, here. here too bad. Yeah. As stated, if we were short, it was going to be the easier putt there. If we are long, we would have had a putt to think about. We do nice get three back to back birdies. We are stacking up the birdies here, and we move to three under par. Hole four okay, is a long par four, four playing 493 yards, stroke index 13. I'm quite surprised with it, the length of two of the par fours here. When we when I first noticed the yardage from the, the black uh, tees, which we are playing, I thought it was a fairly short course. Seems to be playing longer than suggested currently. But I'm amazed that this course has only got 15 plays so far. That is absolute criminal. Let's get out there and give this some exposure, guys. Once again, very little room for, for error here. The fairway does open up, but I would imagine if you were on the um, beginner, or let's say pro clubs, you're going to have a bit of, bit of work to do here. Fortunately for us, the fairway opens up here, so we should have a bit of room for error, but not much. Remember, I am playing in mild default conditions here. Once again, I'm pushing things slightly to the right. This looks pretty safe. Fairway should slope to the left here, though. I like that trio of bunkers there, but to be fair, they're never going to be in play, even from... Well, I say from the fairway. All right. If I hit the rough, they could well be in play, but I just don't get that. I would like to see that bunkers probably further up protecting the green. I just don't get how that three bunkers are there. For me, they're not in play. So, I think we can club down to the eight iron. And I'm just going to deal off this two touches because we are on a slight slope that will add yards to our ball. Once again, your best being short here, which I'm hoping to be. It's going to leave us the, the easiest putt. That slope's going to take us to the right. I am pushing things slightly to the right as well. See if we can get a cleaner ball hit here. There we go. That should be bang on. This should be bang on. Just looking to be a wee bit short of the flag stick again. Wow. For soft greens, you are getting a hell of a run out with the, the longer irons. Here we go. It's quite inconsistent. So we've got a, a more trickier pattern I would have liked to left myself, even though there's not much in it. Just going to play this quite firm. Eliminate a bit of the break out of this. Yes. We play that right into the heart of the cup. And we are cutting this course up. We're we do move to four under par. Four under after that one. I'm not a huge fan of playing in these really low wind conditions, guys. But to be fair, nice the majority of my last five, six, seven rounds have all been double figures to gale force wind. So it makes quite a nice change. But hole number five is a par four, playing 366 yards, stroke index nine. I do apologize, guys. I am wearing a hoodie. Just let me take it off. I think it is rubbing up against the headset. So I do apologize for that. I hope that's not been causing too much interference. 
So, we do have a short par four here, playing 366 yards. I would imagine favourable wins. You're going to have nothing more than a flop or a pitch. It is an uphill fairway though. But once again, really like the way he set this out. I like that, Bunkers. They are in play. And you could well have a hidden shot into the, this green here with uphill um, incline. Look at that thing. Fly. But imagine we're not going to get much run out here. Ball's going to sit down fairly quickly in these soft fairways. But in saying that, I mean, for soft fairways, we are getting a fair bit of carry here as well. Probably got a good 10 to 15 yards carry out there. That's now left us with a pitch shot. I'm actually going to come down to the sand wedge. It is uphill, and I'm just playing this. I'm hoping with these soft greens, we are on a slight uphill slope as well, that this should sit down really quickly for me. It looks like if we are... It doesn't really matter where we land this. We're going to have a similar putt if we're long or short. This should run out. It is playing, let's say, 67 yards, let's to be fair. This should run out about 66, bang on, I would suggest. Great execution. Hmm, didn't get the run out I expected. Two yards short of what I hoped it would run out at. Probably going to have a nine foot putt, eight foot putt. This one is a very tasty putt though. Bit of work to do here. Happy with that. Hopefully we do get the required break in this. It should turn quite aggressively here. Come on, turn. It's another putt we've read really well. It is one part of my game I've really, really improved on. And we do move to five under par. So, so far, we've played the course really, really well. Really nice looking lighthouse there. Very unique. I like the way he's used other buildings incorporated into that. And this is another beautiful par for you guys. Look at this. Look at the stunning views. This par 3 is playing 172 yards. Stroke index 3. Oh, fair bit of decline here. I'm going to take off 9 yards here. I feel I have to take off 9 yards. So it's playing 151. I'm just going to deal off this twice. I'm just looking to come over the top of this bunker and use that slope to take it to work. So looking to land this just right at the front of the green. It looks like we've got a slope that should take us towards the pin if we do swing this well. Oh, we've played a great execution. This should be good. This should be good. Come on, sit, sit. Wow. Very firm kick out there, and these greens are not playing as soft as I expected. They're really not playing soft. All right, here we go. I would this expect a nine iron first. to sit a lot quicker down, uh, sit down quicker than that. It's quite a, quite a testing uh, putt here. At least it's uphill. This one is really going to break to the left, 27 feet up, five inches. So we're going to have to play this fairly firm. Should really start the turn. I've not allowed enough for the break, but the weight was good. And we do miss out on the birdie there. Very surprised at the greens though. But I tell you something, fairly challenging putt here as well, just to save par. I really don't see how this misses. And we do get the par save. So we remain at five under, moving into hole number seven, which okay. is the hardest hole in the course, playing stroke in next one. Par four, 479 yards. But this really does have a Lynx feel to it, with the gorse, the openness, the bunkers. And it really is a nice looking course. I am amazed that this has only currently got 15 plays. I do feel for some designers, and I can clearly see why some of them get sick in, that they'll spend... Like I say, up to 100, 200 hours to get 15 plays. 
and that's what this channel is all about guys is is getting exposure getting courses for you guys to go and play i feel we can comfortably take on this drive here the wind should take us round slightly oh i've pushed that right we might be lucky to get away now nah, we're going to be fine dirty swing line there though once again, for soft greens, I mean, I, I can't really call playing soft fairways or greens. Okay, I'm getting a really good run out here five, for yeah, soft fairways. It's been a while since I've played soft greens, but I recall them being more receptive in this. I think I've got the right club here. Going by how things are, are running out for me. We are on an uphill slope, though. So I'm just going to deal off this 9-iron a touch. Don't want to be too far right of the flag here. That slope's going to take us right. Wind should bring us back round as well. I would rather go there. Certainly want to land this left off the flag stick. This should be really good. Stay up. Stay up. Ah, we've came up way short. We've came up way short. But I tell you what, nice kick onto the green there. But look at the, the slope and the contours off that green. Look how far back that's running. Nice. That uphill slope just killed us. Foot putt from here. So we've got an uphill putt. Let's see. This one shouldn't break as much as it suggests due to the, the way I'm playing this. Must make sure I play it aggressive. This should turn. This should turn. It should... Oh, I missed that by centimetres. And we are going to pick up our second par of the round and remain at five under. Fairly challenging course, which I really do enjoy. Just the, the randomness of the, the uphill slopes or, or downhill slopes. Just for your calculations, sometimes it's very, very tough. Hole number eight is a long par five, playing 593 yards, stroke index 17. But this course is playing far longer than the yardage suggests. This does remind me of a course. I just can't recall what it is. It is very, very similar to a course that I have played. I just can't think of it just now. Is that part of this fairway? It looks like it is. So you've got options here. I don't see why I would want to take the right-hand side. I think that's going to put us further away from the, the flag. But at the same time, it's maybe eliminating that bunkers. I think we'll take the left-hand side here. There we go. That should be right down the centre of the fairway. Beautiful aerial views there. And that should run out well once again. So I, I'm very surprised. We are getting really good run outs here. We really, really are. A lot better run outs than the soft green suggests. We're not going to be able to reach this in two. But we've got a nice landing area here. Once again, it's going to be an uphill shot. So it will take distance off of this. But we should still comfortably reach that landing spot. There's a beautiful swing light. And that should set us off for a little flop or a pitch. Sweet. Right, 30 yards. Just going to loft us up majority of the way. The slope's going to take us to the left. And let's see if we can just land this right at the flag stick. With these soft greens, it should sit down fairly quickly. Put us slow on that, shouldn't really affect me too much. It has put us more right than what I like, so we should probably about an 8 foot okay, putt for birdie. We'd have liked that closer. It is 8 foot bang on, but we've got very little movement in this one. I think it's moving a little bit more than it suggests though, so we're just going to the right of this flagpole. We are going to play it firm, and it did turn, and we do pick up the birdie there. Six under for the round. So we've moved to 6 under par through 8 holes. Let's move on to the final hole of the back nine, nine which is a par four quite a short par four playing 422 yards stroke index 15 i 
tell you what, this course reminds me, and I don't know why, and it is by our very talented designer, Adam Benjamin, and it's, it's the house on the cliff. I find it very similar to that. I wonder if the, the designer has been inspired by that course. I could be completely wrong. I'm just, I just, I get a feeling it plays quite similar to the house on the cliff, and it does look very, very similar as well in comparison. Quite uh, the same challenge, the same layout as well. I could be way off the mark, but that's that's my opinion. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, that is a really dirty swing, and I think we're going to be in trouble. We should kick right here, though. We should get a favourable kick. We have done. Members bounce there. And that has kicked right out into the centre of the fairway. But I, I, I don't agree that these are soft fairways and, and soft greens, because they certainly don't play like that. Oh, why we're right in between clubs here. I am going to go with a gap wedge. Loft up quite extreme here. We've got that backstop. We are on a bit of a slope here as well. Let's see if we can play it as well. Need a nice straight swing line here. There we go. That should be all over this. That should sit down yeah, on a dime. Come on, come back, come back. Yeah, that could be in. Could be in. It did sit down on a dime, to be fair. We landed that right exactly where we wanted, using the backstop. And this is going to set up a little five-foot putt for another birdie and we do move to seven under par through the front nine seven under for the so fantastic front nine there very enjoyable just the two pars in there but this is a fairly challenging course i would imagine in medium to high um speed winds it would be a lot more challenging hole 10 this is by far the most open um fairway so far I assume there's the rusted ship off there in the, the distance. It's the first time we've had a look at that, or it's the first time I've noticed it. So, once again, favourable winds here, guys. Probably a 6, 7, 8 mile per hour wind, and you would be able to take this on. I'm just hoping that I can come here. The wind's going to bring us, and hopefully that fairway is going to hold us up a little bit. I think it's slightly downhill. Nice There's a laser beam. Just relying on this, this fairway. It looks like we should catch this uphill slope. And we shouldn't run out of it. Yeah, so fantastic little detail there from the designer. Just with that uphill fairway, you're allowed to take that shot on. And it is going to set up another flop shot. I'm just going to de-loft this one touch. Imagine this one should be close. Put another slow on that, so it's going to be more right than we'd have liked. We are going to have another putt for about eight feet. It's getting a lot of slows on my uh, flop shots. This is certainly no gimme here, and at the way I'm playing this, this should break more aggressively. Quite a tough putt, this one. Oh, it didn't turn as much as I would have liked, and that ball has picked up momentum. That has went seven feet past, unfortunately. So we could be dropping the first shot of the round here. Just didn't break as much as I expected to. Confident this one turns. It did. Just, just a pity we didn't read that birdie putt as well. But the greens are very challenging here. They are going to challenge even the, the top, top putters out here. So, hole number 11, par 4, playing 404 yard stroke index 4. So, we've went from one extreme to the other. A huge open fairway on hole 10 to a very, very tight fairway here on hole 11. Plenty of bunkers and hazards here. Look at this. You're going to have to play it as well. Fairway should slope slightly to the left, so we should have enough fairway to work with here. And you can see why the designer has used soft fairways, because if these were firm fairways and 
the challenge and the thinness of some fairways, the ball would not sit. So I think it's quite clever that he's used soft fairways. Even though I don't think they're playing that soft. Soft fairways to me, you shouldn't get huge runouts. There's that ball landed at 293 yards. And look at that. I know the fairway's downhill, but with that's about that's almost 35 yards run out there. That's insane. So we're gonna have a pitch up. Once again, looks like you would rather be short than long. I'm just gonna loft this up two touches because we are on a slight downhill slope, and we'd certainly want to be short here. You don't want to be long on this one. Laser beam. Certainly going to be bang on for the yardage. Get in. Oh, look at that for a pitch shot. Sublime. And we do uh, pitch that in for an eagle and move to nine under par. It's been a while since I've, I've had a hole light from a pitch, from that distance anyway. Hole number 12, par four, playing 479 yards, stroke index 10. I mean, I've got no criticisms, I've got no complaints about this course. I think the layout's good, I think the sculpting is has been done very, very well. I think the risk-reward aspect is certainly there. I think the course looks beautiful. I don't know what, what more I can really add or what I would change to this, this course. Like I say, just some of the bunkers but that, that's round the board. There's a lot of guys who put bunkers in there, obviously for um, visual aids. But I would prefer the bunkers are, there, are, are in play. You know, I know it's hard to accommodate for all club levels. Bunkers that are implemented for beginner clubs are certainly not going to be in play for pro and master clubs and vice versa. This is going places. But I'm just, the only thing I'm surprised at is the run out we're getting on these soft fairways and the, the soft greens. I may be missing something here. I mean, the green speeds aren't lightning fast. What are they, 158, 164? All right, 145 Wedges right. should still be sitting down on these and they should be very receptive. So I'm clubbing down here to the pitching wedge. We are slight downhill slope. Just gonna deal off that two touches. Just wanting to land this at the front of the green because it's it's downhill, it's same as one foot up, that's the elevation, but the green is sloping down towards the flag. So I reckon we just need to make that onto the front of the green and hopefully set up a birdie opportunity. Should be decent. Just looking to make front of the green, should catch this slope. We are slightly left of the flag. If we didn't pull that that would have been bang on. It would have been a little inches. Okay, talking inches for a, a tap-in putt. But we do have an eight-footer. There's hardly any movement in this one. We'll just give it the respect it's due. Going to play it as firm. And that does turn into the cup for another birdie. So some greens are clearly playing easier than others regarding the breaks. But we do move to ten under par. I don't think this is such an easy course. I am in a, I am playing well at the moment. We have found a, a bit of a, a purple patch. But hole 13 is a par 3, playing 185 yards stroke index 14. Now, once again, this bunker here is in play, especially in high wind conditions. But I really like the look of this course. I really, really do. It's quite a challenging pin location. I'm not sure what I think about this fairway here. I would like to see that rough. I would like to see that just the common theme. Like the right hand side. I would like to see this area, maybe a bunker. And light to heavy rough. And make it slightly more challenging. I'm just going to loft this up three touches. These irons are running out well. That wind's going to take us round. Don't want to be too far right of this flag stick. I'd rather run this to the left. A 
would like to think this has got a chance of being close to this pin. Sit down. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Still for soft greens, guys. That is running out too much for me. All right, solid approach shot. We can two putt from here. But we do have a nine foot putt. Downhill, unfortunately. Just going to give it a little bit of extra break. Or allow for a little extra break, break at the speed we're playing this at the 164. And that should start to turn. And it's another well read putt. Just dropped on the edge here. If we played that any firmer, that may have missed. And we do move to 11 under par. What a start to the back nine here. Okay, let's see what happens here on this. So, hole number 14 is a short par four, playing 368 yards, stroke index six. The back nine certainly playing shorter than the front nine. But look at this for a beautiful looking hole. I like the, the sound of the ocean there. I'm not sure if that's meant to be the ocean. Well, yeah, it's obviously a little inlet. It's coming in around the course from the, the larger expanse of water. But once again, very little room for error here. Going to set this down to right. That bunker's in play here, which I do like, especially on the Master Clubs. It is uphill. Fairway should not run out too much here. It does look like we're going to land this on an uphill part of the fairway. That is an absolute laser beam that we should have avoided the bunker. I think we're just going to catch this uphill slope. Yeah, it's not going to run out as much as previous holes. And that's going to be a pitch shot again, I would imagine. 64 up 5. Just deal off in this. Two little touches due to the uphill slope that we're on. I would rather be short here, though. Oh, this is really in between clubs, but I do believe this uphill slope is going to kill us a little bit. I would still like to land this short. Good execution. Oh, we're left. How quickly is that going to sit down? Not quickly at all. Nope. It's my one criticism of this course is that the greens and fairways are suggesting soft. I don't yeah, think they're playing soft. And that is now a brutal putt. This is going to have a lot of swing in this. It is uphill. Come on. Come on. Come on. Have we played it firm enough? Oh, we did. Just didn't allow enough for the break. Very unfortunate there. And we are going to pick up. I think this is our first par of the back nine. I could be wrong. Maybe our second. Yeah, second par. We are going to remain at 11 under par. Let's move on to hole 15. Medium length par 4, playing 440 yards, stroke index 8. But yeah, definitely seeing similarities between this course and the house on the cliff. Um, especially in layout and the way it plays. I do like how this green is well protected by bunkers. I really, really like that. And once again, it's a tough fairway. It's a shared, um, shared fairway here from a previous hole. That is fantastic. Very, very creative. I do like that. I do like that. Now, what would happen if I land in the green here? I would take it I'd get relief because you are not allowed to play a shot. Off the green. Unless you're you're on the, the, that hole, I do believe. That should be bang on with the wind taking us round. And it should be a wedge into this slightly downhill fairway. But really like that. I can't ever really recall coming a, nice. a course, a, across another course that has that down. feature. I think this is bang on. That is sloping downhill. Just going to deal off the two touches because we are on a slight uphill slope. Green's certainly going to break to the right. Wind should bring us back round as well. Oh, I've pulled that extreme left. That won't be anywhere near the flagstick, guys. Should sit down quickly. Hmm. 
Lots of contours on here on these greens. That's actually going to miss the green, is it? No, it's just going to sit down. Nice. Poor swing line there. Just not convinced that these are soft greens. I know they suggest they are. Certainly not playing as if they're soft greens. An attack and putt here. I don't think I've allowed enough for the break though. No, we haven't. Good weight in that. Just missed on the left edge. And that is going to be another part. And we are going to remain at 11 under. Well done. But no, no complaints about this course whatsoever. Other than the fact that it's suggesting the greens are playing soft and the fairways are playing soft. And to me, I don't know about you guys, I don't feel that they are. Hole number 16, par 3, playing 174 yards, stroke index 12. Once again, it's a well laid out par 3. Plenty of bunkers in play here. Here if you're short. Long left, long right. And I think this club is bang on. I'm just going to loft it up a touch. Just to try and get this. Ah, you see he's clever. I'm really in between clubs here because if I am short, that ain't making it. I'm just going to have to play this and hope that we do get a firm bounce out. I'm just going to deal off this once because I'm convinced we're going to land where that slope is and hopefully with enough run out here, we can get this running up towards the flag stick. Oh, Lee, you've pulled that left again. That is way left. We could be in bunker here. Could well kick into the bunker. No, it has held the green. It might come back a little bit here. There's a little bit of, little bit of a slope. Okay, Yardage was going to be good too. Got some real to cover with this Can't believe I'm pulling it as far left as that. Once again, very challenging putt. Very challenging putt. I don't see how this gets close. I mean, this is really going to mess badly if I don't get the speed and the break bang on here. I really need that to turn. No, it's came up short. Really didn't hit that. Okay. And that's going to leave me a little three-footer. Set it up quite well. And we do pick up another part. So you are being punished here for, for poor shots into greens. So once again, it's another aspect of a light. We've been rewarded for good shots. We've been punished for poor shots. Hole so hole 17, up. a long par 5, playing 609 yards, stroke index 2. This is a beautiful looking hole. Back to the sea views. We are getting close now to the, the rusty ship, hence where the, the course got its name from. It's obviously marooned out there in the shallow water. Now this looks like it's got a lot of problem solving all over this. I like this. Got to get rid of this pool left here, which we've been doing the last three or four shots. Once again, don't have much room for error. That fairway is really going to slope down this this fairway to the left. There we go, Lee. So just going to allow the fairway to take us round, and hopefully we get a favourable sit down somewhere. Should hold the fairway, and that's worked out beautifully. Whether or not we can attack this green in two, I don't think we will be too in the current wind conditions. No, we can't. We can't even get... Oh, well, we could. Oh, I don't want to be playing an 8-iron. Just a beautiful looking hole, this one. I'm going to take it on. I mean... You would be able to comfortably take this on with a favourable wind... I might fail to kick out here. Just looking to kick out. That wind and the slope is going to take us left. I'm hoping we can kick out on the fairway. If not, we're going to have a pitch shot from the heavy rough, I would assume. It's a beautiful swing. I think we've played this well. We should kick out here. Come on, come on, come on. Get up. Oh, that heavy rough killed it. Wow, that did not kick out well at all. And you can see why 69 to 76%. But I would much prefer playing my shot here than having a longer shot. I think I've got enough club here 
de-loft in this. We are on a slight downhill slope. I think this has got enough club to get there and hopefully get quite close to the flag. We've avoided the slope. This should run out well. This should run out well. Come on. Just a little bit short, but I'm thinking a 13 to 14 foot putt right, for birdie. Put here. 12 footer. Like the rest of the course, it is a challenging putt. These putts are not gimmies. We'll go with that. Should really start to turn these last few feet. Oh, it's a well-read putt. It is a well-read putt. Sitting at 12 and we do pick up the birdie there. And we move to 12 under par. Final hole of Rusty Ship Golf Island. Wow, fantastic looking finishing hole here. Really love the beach. Love that beach aspect. It's been a while since I've played a Lynx course. There's the clubhouse. Beautiful looking clubhouse. Plenty of hazards here to finish this final hole. Lots and lots of hazards in this course. You've really got to think of your, your tee shots, your approach shots. I do like that. Once again, the fairways are very, very tough, very challenging. This is a course where if you're struggling with your swing tempo and swing line, it's going to cause you a lot of issues. This should kick hard right, I would imagine. There we go. You've got to swing well here to shoot well. And that should be a wedge into this green now. This club should be perfect. Okay, it looks like the green slopes back on itself. This should sit down really quickly. It should do it, but it should come back towards the pin, so it looks like we want to be slightly longer. Pulled it a wee bit left. It should be okay, though. It's looking good so far. Despite that pull left, I'm not sure how we managed yeah, going right there, but we should have a, like, a five to six foot putt for birdie. Five footer. Very little break in this one. I'm just going to put it to the, the right edge. Should start to turn back. Just going to play it fairly firm. Just to avoid any break. And we do finish with that birdie. And I think that's 12 under. Is it 13 under? 13 under, guys. Front nine is seven under. Um, back nine is six under. Very, very nice course. Like I say, fantastic thread that less than bread has started over in TGC Tour Forum. Please go and check it out. Um, I think it's a fantastic course. I really do. I, I don't have much criticism other than the course suggested soft greens and soft fairways, and I do not believe that they played soft. But for me, I'm going to give that a favourite, and we are going to give that a five-star rating. I think it's a great course. How that's got 15 plays, I think it's criminal. Please get out there and play it and go and check out Less Than Bread's forum. That is it for today, guys. My next video will be a new series and it will be released over the weekend. So look out for that. Until the next video, guys, take care, peace out and love you all. Bye.